everybody hope you are doing well and safe today i'm going to introduce you a python tool for making your work easier so this is a footage let's play and see we are doing some prep work here so first of all going to track some area pretty straight ahead take mocha pro ifx version inside nuke connect the source pipe into the plate click on launch ui button in this properties yes we have the footage loaded inside the mocha interface automatically i like the ifx version because of this let's track yes it's done you can see the spline is tracked into this surface i'm not adjusting with this tracking data going to export the data straight inside nuke click on export tracking data copy to clipboard close the mocha ui paste it here and here we have the corner pin tracking data inside nuke let's keep this here okay so let's start the prep take a rotor pin node okay here i'm gonna make a clean plate by removing this metal clip over here not that accurate but it's okay now we need to use this as our clean plate there are some ways for that we can take a frame hold node and 100th frame is our cp let's suppose also you can select all the strokes and set the lifetime as needed here all frames but here we used frame hold to hold our clean plate let's take copy premult to premult using an alpha connecting the copy node take a roto node oops uh, not roto paint here we go connecting a pipe into roto organizing this a bit let's merge the pre-melted result over bg let's keep this properties aside okay we are not seeing anything here because there is no alpha so let's draw a shape into roto node okay not an eclipse take the rectangle yep that's need to be adjusted a bit Okay, now our prep is ready. You can see the output here. But when we play and check, the patch is not moving. And definitely that's not what we want. We have the track from Mocha. Take that. Let's keep it over here. And arrange this a bit. Uh, but can't see the patch now. If we zoom in here, here is that patch. So now we need to set the from parameters in corner pin for solving this issue. In corner pin node, you can see the animation in uh, two knobs and there is from tab here. Next step is important, especially while doing prep. Here you can see the from values are based on input resolution. Click on copy to. All the animation are copied into from knobs. Next thing, right click no animation. Okay, I will give you a close up of what's happening now. When I remove animation, nothing is going to happen. Check it. No animation. Yes. Next knob. Same. No animation. Yes. We'll continue in all knobs. It's done. And now you can see the patch is moving along with the footage. And our prep is done. But there are some areas which still needs to be adjusted more. You can see the initial frame range is drifting. So for solving this, we can add more clean plates. I have already done some. If we see this, in 40th frame we have a clean plate. Also, if we check this node, we have a clean plate in frame 1. Let's use this clean plate to blend the prep. So here we can see this clean plate is set on 100th frame. Come over here, take a frame hold node. Take another one here also. Okay, this frame hold needs to be set to frame 40. Click on OK. Everything is set. Let's copy all this stuff. Merge this with plate. Okay, roto is set on another frame. We'll come back to this later. Now we need to set the corner pin for this frame. 40th frame. Come into the from tab. Click on copy to. The same procedure. Set no animation in all knobs, just like the last time. Now corner pin is set to this frame and can do the rest of prep adjustments. I will adjust the roto to this frame, scale it a bit. Okay, this seems great.
Okay, here I'm gonna select the roto again and deleting this extra keyframe. Okay, now we can see another keyframe is there. Deleting that keyframe also and now everything looks cool. Still some more sliding. It's okay. We have another plate for that area. Adjusting the setup. Select the rotor shape. I am deleting this shape. You can see the corner pin frame is set to the other frame. The reference frame for this corner pin should be in frame 1. I'm gonna introduce a python tool right now. Before that I am drawing a spline for prep. If you view on this merge node, it's not looking great as the reference frame is wrong. So this is a manual process which according to me every prep artist do multiple times in their work. Instead of clicking on copy to and setting no animation, I have a python tool in my nuke here. Under efficiency, you can see set corner pin. Also the shortcut is assigned as F2. Select the corner pin and you can see now from tab is not same as to tab or the reference frame is not set. For that go to that tool, set corner pin. Wow that's done. No need to do it manually. This is the beauty of this python tool. Also you can see a label denoting the frame number we set as a reference. Amazing right? And you can see the prep is done. Here obviously last frame is not matching. We have to blend all these clean plates for that. Let's take this corner pin and examine. Now we have set the corner pin to frame number 1. Let's set the reference to frame 30 without any hassle. You can see here the values are not like we need. Going to set the corner pin using python. Efficiency menu, set corner pin. You don't have to come and take this tool again again. So use shortcut. Oops, that gives an error. That's because we didn't select the corner pin node. Press F2. Wow, it's done. So easy, right? You can see the label as frame 30 now. The values are copied and animation removed also. Let's try another frame. Wow, that's done. See the label is changed to this frame also. If we check over here, though there is mismatch in prep as it's not completed. See here the reference frame is not matching. If we check our two tab, we can see the difference. Now we can set this frame using this python tool. Wow, that's set. And you can see the label is also changed. This can be very handy for prep artists. Okay, this is a python snippet which does that function. Nothing fancy, just some simple codes and I'm not sure whether we can edit this code again to be more efficient. Help me in that by commenting down your thoughts and ideas in the comment section. I added a menu already and assigned a shortcut to. I have added this code in the description of the video. So do check it out. Like the video and subscribe for more updates. Till next video, take care, bye bye.